Are you a pack rat? Do you find it nearly impossible to throw things out even though they've taken over your house? If so, you could be suffering from something called hoard and clutter syndrome. It's a problem for millions of Americans. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. From the outside, Amanda and Tom Vogler's North Plainfield home looks neat and tidy. It's well-painted and well-maintained. The inside, however, is a different story. This is the basement. I sometimes do flea markets and garage sales, and I dabble in auctions, and so this is my stuff to resell. Some of that are the kids' water pistols, summer chairs, which I haven't used in a while, um, a whole mix of stuff. The kids are 18-year-old Ben and 14-year-old Lucas. This is the youngest teen's room. What can I say? Um, I do clean this room like four times a year, give it the good cleaning and organizing, and it returns to this state uh, very quickly. <laughs> So. We'd show you Ben's third floor room if we could, but he's put a lock on his door. This is the master bedroom. You know, that bothers me when I wake up and see those piles and, you know, you feel guilty about it and why can't I just be totally organized. And then other days I try and say, you know, I have a busy life, I do the best I can. Psychologist Karen Landsman is an expert on obsessive compulsive disorder, which she estimates affects as many as one in 40 Americans. Dr. Landsman says hoarding and cluttering syndrome is a type of OCD. You know, it's a mix of biology and learned types of behavior. So oftentimes there's a traumatic stress that brings on this, this onset of having these tremendous urges to keep things, to collect them, to hold on to things, the fear of throwing things away. It's been going on for years. Honestly, I guess my whole life. I never really, I, I was not born with an organizational gene where I came out saying I want everything in its place and I know just how to do it. Over the past three years, Amanda has turned to a professional for help, Jamie Novak, a self-improvement guru who specializes in clutter. We see that there's tremendous amounts of money lost when there's clutter around because uh, paychecks aren't cashed or receipts aren't able to be found so you can't make returns. Things are bought and never used, so money is a big issue. Among Novak services, $125 an hour house calls. She's visited the Vogler home 50 times. Today, she's checking on Amanda's backyard dumpster. Oh, there's some old books, twigs, an old TV, an old ceiling fan, and that's it. For now. For now, right? <laughs> One of Jamie's biggest successes here has been the Vogler's pantry. Jamie helped you organize the pot and panlets. Yes. And you've got your pots and pans hanging neatly on a cork board. Right. In fact, the entire downstairs looks pretty neat, but on closer inspection... The papers, the boxes that I bought that I hope to sort them into someday soon. Novak tells Amanda... Of course, we know any paper that ever says you don't owe us anything any longer is a definite keeper. Novak's advice to people who feel overwhelmed by clutter, choose one room and start small. If you can take one bag out, throw one more thing away, give one more thing away every day, all of a sudden it sort of gets that momentum flowing. Amanda says her next project will be the stack of papers on top of her dishwasher. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, North Plainfield.